Hey, how's it going everyone? Michael here again with another SharePoint tutorial. So today we're gonna to be showing you how to create a tab in Teams for a shared PTO calendar. This is extremely helpful within a small team to uh, kind of determine who's on PTO, who's out of office and everything. And Teams has a nice little way to do it. So I have a brand new team right here. It's called Marketing. And to start, we're going to go into the SharePoint. So if you click on the triple dot in the top right corner, and open in SharePoint. This will actually bring you to the SharePoint site. All right, so we have the SharePoint site open right here. It's a brand new SharePoint site. So we are going to go in, click on new, and we wanna get a calendar app. So click on app. And this is actually in the classic experience. So click classic experience right there. And, and calendars right here. So we will name this PTO calendar. Go ahead and create that. And so it will take you to the site contents page for the SharePoint. We'll go ahead and click on PTO calendar. So this is a nice little view. And um, we are going to go ahead and copy this site link. And you wanna open Teams again. And so within Teams, I'm in the marketing team that we created. Click on the Add a tab. And then you wanna click on, where is it? Website right here, the pink icon. And so we are going to name this PTO calendar and we will paste the URL that you collected from the uh, calendar we made within SharePoint. And you want to post about it you can go ahead and click on save and there we go so if you click on this tab we have a nice little pto calendar that you know your team can use to document their pto you would just go ahead and click on new event so if i want to schedule let's say i'm out of office from the 14th to 15th 14, 15, and let's say Mike out of office, and we'll do all day. PTO. And there you go, Mike's out of office, we'll do one more. So let's say Jen's out of office from 13th to 15th. Go ahead and click on save. And this is a nice and little easy calendar for your team to use. And you can even import this to Outlook if you wanted to and uh, export to Excel. And this is nice because within small teams, it's hard to see who's out of office and everything. And this is a nice little central place. You got like a team of like five to 10 people. People could go in and document their uh, PTO. So on default, the permissions, anyone in the team will be able to um, add events in here. If only the supervisor wanted to add events within this calendar, I'll show you how to do that really quick. So any of the owners of this team, so right now it's just me. So we wanna go back to the SharePoint. So we'll go ahead and click on open to SharePoint. I'm just gonna bring it up in the browser right here. So to get to this calendar within SharePoint, go ahead and go back to the main page. So we're on the homepage and you need to be a site owner to, um, all depends uh, how the SharePoint set up, but mostly it's the uh, owners of the site. So on the site contents, you'll have your calendar you made. Go ahead and click on that. And we'll click on the cogwheel in the top, actually, the class experience, you gotta do it a different way. So in the calendar, go ahead and click on the calendar tab, top left, and then we'll go to the list settings. All right, and it's within the permissions for this list under permissions and management. So go ahead and click on permissions for this list. So only, if you only want the team owners, so that'd be like a supervisor or someone, you don't want like users to go in and add their own PTO, you're gonna do that yourself. You'll go ahead and click on the uh, marketing members so for you, it would just be um, whatever the SharePoint name is, members. 
And you can see they have edit permission right here. So go ahead and click on that. Actually, all you gotta do is stop inheriting permissions because we don't want the uh, main SharePoint site to have the same permissions as this one. So we'll go ahead and check mark marketing members right here, edit user permissions, and we'll just change it to read. And now only the uh, team owners are able to add events to the calendar. So that's a nice little simple short way to manage PTO within a small team if you're using Teams. I'm a relatively new YouTube channel, so if you like my content, I'm also a SharePoint administrator for um, my career. So I got a little few tips and tricks of how to make life a little bit easier. So go ahead, like, comment, subscribe if this helped you. Uh, let me know if you guys have uh, any video ideas you want me to do. I know Power Automate too, so I'm definitely doing some Power Automate videos with that. So that'll be the video for today, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.